Good morning, everybody. You're all very welcome. So I'm playing a vice meditation by the London Philharmonica Orchestra. Please do sit back and enjoy while we wait for people to come in. Good morning, everyone. The music was going a little funny there, but I hope you got a little bit of that beautiful vice meditation. Such a wonderful, wonderful piece of music. So you're all very welcome this morning to the virtual Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary. And it's lovely to see the good mornings coming in there on the screen. Thank you. So my name is Tara, if you don't know me already, and today I'm coming to you from my home in Surrey. So wherever you are in the world, please let's just sit back, get in comfy as we prepare for our healing minutes. Inviting you to close your eyes if you wish to do so. And just take in a nice, slow, deep breath in and out. And as you feel your body relaxing back, just taking another deep breath in. and letting everything go with your out breath. And just ignoring all other sounds in your home. Enjoying the peace. Enjoying this space. As you take another big deep breath in, settle back. You're right where you need to be today, on your path, on your own journey. But if you're spinning in circles or feeling lost or confused, trying to figure out where you need to be, just stop, right here, right now, and breathe. Trust that all will be okay. Taking your mind now to a gentle pathway. walking slowly and steady as you notice it's a lovely day 
the sun is shining and the sky is blue and there's a nice gentle breeze feeling at peace just you enjoying this pleasant day as you breathe in the fresh air and taking in the beautiful scenery around you. And I invite you to imagine sitting on an old bench and resting back. As we enjoy this moment. We pray for the earth. The earth is yours and mine and the glorious sky. As you made me, so you made the starlings and the owl, the glorious oak and the elm. In weaving your wisdom you formed the sea and her mellow song, harmonizing with the whales and the birds. You are in me and above me. You are below me and beside me. You created worlds within worlds, gifts beyond understanding and beauty beyond measure. Captured in a sphere of perfect blue. And so we bow to you, call upon angels and spirits to give us strength that we may share in worship and wisdom this day. Let us join in mind and spirit, in prayer and love, to bring healing to this most wonderful of worlds. For when this world suffers, we suffer too, for we are all one. As we all sit together across the world in this healing circle, as we join hands and hearts and prepare for our healing minutes, we give thanks that we are gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your entire body and then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure unconditional love balanced by the nurturing protective love of Mother Earth. We ask now that the people's names that we hold in the distant healing folder in our sanctuary chapel and in all the healing books throughout the world, may they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. We call in Harry Edwards and his spirit team and our own spirit team. We will now have our minute silence.
May God bless you. Amen. The Great Invocation From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May the coming one return to earth. From the centre where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the centre which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Thank you everyone and thank you to all our friends in spirit. So lovely that we're all together in this very special moment. So just a few little quick notices. Tonight at 7.30 Alan will be on Facebook with Healing For You and Tracy will be reading one of Lyndall Demir's meditations. So please do try and join us, it will be a lovely evening. And just to note that this is only on Facebook tonight, not Zoom. On Saturday the 22nd, uh, we have our Spring Fair. So please do try and join us. It's between 10.30 and 3.30. But of course, Alan will be filming the fair for people who can't make it. So all these different events, we have lots going on at the moment. They're all on our Facebook and our website. So please do have a look and see if you can join us. So today I would like to read you a little bit about practicing non-attachment. And one of the hardest things to do as a parent is to allow our children to be who they want to be. Parenting asks us to rise to some of the most difficult challenges this world has to offer. And one of its greatest paradoxes arises around the issue of attachment. On the one hand, successful parenting requires that we love our children. And most of us love in a very attached way. On the other hand, it also requires that we let go of our children at the appropriate times, which means we must practice some level of non-attachment. Many parents find this difficult because we love our children so fiercely, more than we will ever love anyone else. But this can cause us to overstep our boundaries with them as their independence grows. Yet truly loving them requires that we set them free. Attachment to the outcome is perhaps the greatest obstacle on the parenting path and the one that teaches us the most about the importance of practicing non-attachment. We commonly perceive our children to be extensions of ourselves imagining that we know what's best for them. But our children are people in their own right, with their own paths to follow in this world. We may be called to move in directions we fear. Sorry, they may be called to move in directions we fear, or don't respect, or even don't understand yet we must let them go. This letting go happens gradually throughout our lives with our children until we finally honour them as a fully grown adult who no longer require our guidance. At this point, it is important that we treat them as peers who may or may not seek our input into their lives. This allows them and us to fully realise the greatest gift parents can offer is independence. Letting go in any area of life requires a deep trust.
trust in the universe, in the overall meaning and purpose of existence. And even when we feel overwhelmed by concern and the desire to interfere, remembering that there is more to us and our children that meets the eye. As we are all souls making our way in this world and ultimately making our way back to source. This can be a mantra as we let our children go in peace and confidence. Remember, we are all souls making our way in this world. And I know myself, allowing my three boys to do exactly what they want is quite hard. So I thought that was quite an interesting piece that we just need to step back a little and allow them to go on their own journeys. So as we come to the end of our healing minutes today, thank you so much for joining me. And I'd like to leave you today with a little song called Love You Till The End by Neve McGinchy. Because even though we have to step back, we'll love them till the end. Because that's what mothers do and fathers do. Thank you again for joining me. See you next week. you to the end. We sure will. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of Sunday. And remember, wherever you are, we are always here for you. See you next week. Bye for now.